and welcome back to another video today I am actually doing the Q&A for you guys so I'm going through all the questions that you have asked and I'll try and answer all of them I'm sorry in advance if I have missed any of them and if I have just ask again and hopefully we will do another Q&A sometime soon so uh, let me start scrolling, scrolling through all these. The first question was, what program do you use to edit your videos? And I have tried to use um, a lot of programs on the PC, but none of them have really worked out for me. I've always run into issues, if not earlier than later. So I have been using a Mac to do all my editing and that's um, with just iMovie. iMovie, I have Final Cut Pro as well on the MacBook Pro. I've got a really old MacBook Pro. I've had my laptop for like nine years Years and it's served me really really well so I'm saving up for a new one and hopefully it'll be soon because I'm going on holidays soon and I really really want to take you guys along with me um, so yeah hopefully that will be a possibility second question that comes from Declan um, why did you start YouTube and what or who motivated you um, that's actually a really really good question I didn't really have anybody that motivated me like a channel or a YouTube or anything like that it's something that for some reason like inside I just always really wanted to do it and then I suppose like at one stage things got you know difficult in life and I just wanted a, a break from reality I suppose I just wanted to escape and I started a gaming channel and that was a really really uh, great thing for 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 me but at the same time I always had this thing inside I'm like maybe if I talk about my personal life too much people might not like it I don't know I always wanted to do vlogs it was something that was just like it was almost eating away at me going like why aren't you doing that why aren't you doing that so yeah basically it was something yeah something like inside me that just said do the vlogs do the vlogs and that's why I started doing the vlogs also because I really wanted to involve all my animals and like I just wanted to make sure that the time that I put into making the videos kind of includes everything around me that's really important and doing vlogs allows me to kind of incorporate all my animals and things that I do with them as well as my family and friends so a lot of people have also asked where is this accent from and I live in Australia so that's where it's from Okay, the next question comes from Harrison or Halo. Um, what is your all time favorite game and movie and why? That is a really, really good question and it's a really difficult one for me to answer. In terms of a movie, like, I don't know, I don't really have a favorite one, but I do have a favorite genre, which is comedy, just like feel good movies. So, comedy comedy romance just something that leaves you smiling once you turn the movie off and kind of you know keeps you laughing about it so that's the kind that I like when I was younger I used to love Beethoven I don't know because probably because I loved dogs and I was obsessed and I thought it was really funny but that was my favorite one when I was younger and now I really don't really have a favorite one and with games it's actually the same when I was younger I used to love uh, Prince of Persia but and, and just like all, pretty much all the games except the last one that they released I believe um, but yeah like in terms of now which games do I like wait well, you know I like Assassin's Creed <laughs> generally speaking and I do have high hopes for the next game that will come out from them but yeah like and I'm looking at my little statue standing behind the camera so thanks again Harrison <laughs> Harrison sent me an awesome statue like an Assassin's Creed one and I, I really like it um, but yeah aside that I don't know I just I'm I'm very picky when it comes to games and movies so for me to say I absolutely love something I don't know it's it's kind of hard to, to say I have one favorite another question from Harrison was do you prefer a controller or mouse and keyboard and he said don't be diplomatic <laughs> I like that um, well I I think it depends what game I'm playing I know with driving games although I like the steering wheel but I don't have one but I prefer controller so definitely for like driving games controller for shooting games like first person shooter I don't know I think it's because I've always been used to using a keyboard and mouse so I kind of I haven't really experimented with the controller much and I really do need to connect the controller to my PC and kind of see what I prefer but I think it just depends on the the type of game next question what camera do you use to vlog um, I use the Sony Nex 5R or Sony NEX 5R, however you want to say it. But yeah, I find it to be really great for what I need. I love it. The next question is, how did you get your first subs and get noticed on YouTube? Um, I just, you just, I don't know. I just make a video and I just put in what it's about and you just hope that people notice and if they like it, they subscribe. I don't think there is really much more to it. Um, so 
I think the most important thing is just be yourself and people either like it or they don't. So I think there, there are there are like, you know, I was going to say thousands, but literally millions of people on YouTube. So it's just a matter of somebody kind of clicking with your personality, clicking maybe with the way that you think and feel about things. And then yeah, if they, if they find that they're kind of like the same or maybe they're intrigued by you or whatever it may be, then hopefully they'll subscribe. I don't know. Let me know. You let me know why you subscribe to the channel and maybe maybe we'll get some answers for that as well. The next question is, have you ever met anyone famous? And when I saw this question, I actually tried to think to myself, like, have I? I don't know. I don't think so. And if I have, obviously they didn't leave a huge impression on me, but I honestly, I don't think so. I don't think so. And I'm sure like after I've posted this video, I'll be like, oh yeah, I've met this person. But I don't think I have, honestly, I don't think I have. Stuart asks, why do you have such an awesome and easy to listen to voice? <laughs> Are you joking? <laughs> I don't know, it's just my voice. I'm glad you enjoy it though. The next question is, what kind of a cat is Lucy? She is a Bengal. What breed of dogs do you have? So this is like all the animal related questions. So the two big ones are giant schnauzers and the two small ones are English Cocker Spaniels. The next question is from The Real Dilo Flow TV and he asks, what do you like to do outside of YouTube? Uh, what do I like to do outside of YouTube? I like to watch movies, get into like different series, kind of like chill at home and do that. But I also do like to catch up with family and friends. So it really just depends, like doing fun things. And I do like to travel, which I haven't been doing much of in the last few years. The last trip of ours was like three and a half years ago, which was to Canada. And, but we are going somewhere in the new year and I'm really, really excited to hopefully take you guys along with me. And the last question is, what is your favorite place to eat? Um, to be honest, probably home. I love home cooked meals. I love my mom's cooking as well, but I also like preparing like really healthy foods, fruits, um, smoothies, juices. I like them. They're really nutritious and I feel great after them. Sometimes when I go out, it's a bit of a hit or miss depending on where I go and what food I eat. Um, sometimes it's fantastic. Sometimes it's disappointing. I am the kind of person that I like to try a whole variety of things. So I'm not uh, one to kind of steal away from certain foods maybe like greasy really fried things I don't do well with but aside that I'm kind of like if there is a nice restaurant and I want to order something that looks great on the menu I will try it um, generally speaking in terms of maybe a genre of food I do love my Mexican food like real authentic Mexican food that's probably that's probably my favorite. Like I could eat Mexican pretty much every day. I just love it. <laughs> All right, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this Q&A. Of course, if you have any more questions, you are more than welcome to write them down. And if we have like a nice pool of them, I will do a Q&A in the near future or maybe a little bit later. We'll see how it goes. But I hope that you enjoyed this one. I hope that you have an awesome day or night wherever you are in the world. And I'll talk to you next time. Bye for now.